good, y'all. It's your boy Flock. Got a little bit of NBA 2K19 news right here, man. Y'all know I typically don't even do this whole news thing unless it's something I feel like is, is really worth mentioning. Now, this right here is going to pertain to you dribble guys. But first, before I get into that, Mike Wayne, who went on Twitter, he said that uh, pump fake draw fouls have been reworked, much more reliable now, and those keeping track, the takeover boost will probably be closer to a plus 10 primary ratings and plus 5 for your other ratings. I know some people were uh, kind of skeptical about hearing how the takeover uh, will, will do as far as like, will it boost your attributes if you're already at such and such at this this rating? And if you're not sure, your primary ratings are kind of like, if you're a shot creator, your primary ratings are stuff like shots off dribble and mid range and stuff like that. And your other ratings will just be, you know, your other ratings. So for those who weren't too sure, that's pretty much what that has to do. Now this one right here pertains to the dribble guys. So if you one of them, man, you may want to pay a little bit of attention to this one. It says new dribble fatigue mode in 19. If you over dribble, your ball control will drop and your moves will degrade in speed and effectiveness. So spamming too many moves will drop your dribble tier and eventually cause you to fumble the ball. Mm. So you pretty much it says you need to be efficient with the ball this year. Now I'm not gonna lie, when I first heard this, I was like, yeah, right. We heard this one before for the past two games and then still some way somehow you got dribble guys out here doing all these crazy moves for 20 seconds out of the shot clock but after hearing it from a reliable source that was actually there and actually got a hands-on experience with the game he actually confirmed that it was a lot of truth to what was stated here in this uh in his tweet so hopefully man it, it turns into a good thing man and nothing game breaking happens and one last thing he uh he added at the end he said one more dribbling note when branching out of hop gathers, for example, step back jumpers, only tier three ball handlers can explode out like last year. Tier two will be slower, but control, and tier one will pretty much lose the ball, will always fumble every time. So everybody that liked to do that step back cheese and do all that stuff where it was kind of came across like it was a double dribble, um, unless you're a tier three dribbler, which a lot of people would probably be, now, many of us know for a fact that the step back and that snatch back, of, of course, that that was the worst of them all. That that stuff puts you in a crazy animation as a defender. You could be playing like some top tier defense and that snatch back will put you in a crazy animation. So hopefully all this nonsense is addressed as far as like with the ball handling and being able to actually play good defense on this game. But I'm sure someone will find a way to, to sift through it so sound off in the comment section let me know what you all think do you believe it do you not believe it you hype you ready for this game to come out i'm flock man and it's been real i'm out peace